computational thinking introduction pooja a student of class 6 has to plan a trip to southern part of india for her classmates in the coming christmas holidays for pooja it was a very big task and she thought that she will not be able to plan the trip as it seems to be next to impossible she discussed this with her father and her father told her to divide the plan into smaller segments and then prepare smaller plans and combine them into a bigger plan she got the way out and she planned individual things like preparing list of places where the group can visit how to book tickets how to book hotels itinerary of going around the places of interest etc as a result pooja prepared the complete plan and finally submitted it to her class teacher which was appreciated by all how does pooja accomplish this task successfully even though she never planned before it was possible for her because of a technique called computational thinking what is computational thinking computational thinking is an approach to problem solving it involves the breaking down of a problem into smaller chunks working on them individually and finally bringing them together to provide a solution to the problem at hand computational thinking is a fundamental skill for everyone and can be used with any disciplines including the humanities math and science and not just computer science it involves solving problems technique which includes logical reasoning finding step by step solutions and designing system in the final stage components of computational thinking computational thinking has five key components given as under analysis analysis is the process of understanding the problem with the given conditions and constraints and defining the goals decomposition breaking down data processes or problems into smaller manageable parts for better understanding is called decomposition the smaller parts of the problem can be examined closely and solved individually pattern recognition observing patterns trends and regularities uniformities or similarities in data is called pattern recognition when the patterns are recognized it becomes easier to make predictions and create rules to solve other problems abstraction abstraction is the process of filtering out details or components of the problems to focus on the relevant ones algorithm design developing the step by step instructions for solving this and similar problems that we can follow to finish the task let us understand how we solve a problem by using the elements of computational thinking analyzing if we take the example of pooja she analyzed the problem that she needed to plan for a school trip to southern part of india here the problem is to organize a school trip and the goal is plan everything for the trip decomposing decomposition is breaking down complex problems into smaller more manageable chunks it allows to assess the problem at hand and figure out all of the steps needed to make the task happen in case of pooja the decomposing will be to find out various places where they can visit collecting information about each place arranging for rail or air tickets arranging lodging and boarding at different hotels arrangement of local transport safety and security of all inmates during the trip pattern recognition pattern recognition is simply looking for patterns in the puzzles and determining could any of the problems or solutions we have encountered in the past apply here what have we learned in the past that may help us sort out this problem if you have ever drawn group of similar pictures like a bunch of balloons you will understand the importance of patterns when making the first balloon it will be likely that you took much longer to draw than making the fourth or fifth balloon when we repeat steps in our drawing we learn how to solve the instructions more quickly and learn from our mistakes the painstaking process of making that first balloon teaches us the skills to perform the process more efficiently in the future so pooja asks her father for his experience 
and further searches on the internet, she recognizes similarities between her goal and an existing procedure that experts or her father have followed. Patterns exist among different problems and within the individual issues. We need to look for both. Patterns make our task more manageable because they help us to make predictions and use the same techniques that have been proven to solve similar problems in the past. Abstraction Abstraction focuses on essential features and avoids unnecessary complexity. As in the above example, while searching on the internet and talking to experts, Pooja finds that there are tour operators which not only plan but also provide her with some discounts which will bring the cost of the trip further down. Algorithm Design Algorithm design is setting out the steps and rules needed to follow in order to achieve the same desired outcome every time. An algorithm employs logical thinking and involves bringing all of the above elements together to design a solution. One algorithm can be applied to solve multiple problems with a similar pattern. The algorithm can be represented in the form of a flowchart or plain English text. Pooja will make the following algorithm to make the plan for the trip to southern part of India. To find out various places where they can visit. She looks into the places of interest on internet and locates those places in the map. Collecting information about each place. She checks what all places they can visit. She also analyzes the historical importance of the place, checks the connectivity with the rest of the country. Arranging for rail or air tickets. She searches for the shortest route available to reach that place. Checks availability of tickets for onward and return journey. Checks whether air or train fare will be cheaper. Checks whether discount is available or not. Arranging lodging and boarding at different hotels. Checks if some guest house is available for stay in dormitory. Whether the place of stay is near the place of visit and whether some discount is offered or not. Arrangement of local transport. To look for local tour operators to provide transport like a mini bus or a transport which can accommodate more people to cut down on cost. Safety and security of all inmates during the trip. She checks whether the time selected for visit is appropriate and the weather is conducive. Checks that the places are safe to visit, no high tide or no water bodies. If moving by water, whether safety jackets are provided by the operator or not. The medical treatment and requirement of carrying essential first aid kit, etc. A flowchart is the graphical representation of an algorithm. This representation gives a clear picture of finding solution for the said problem. We can now design the flow diagram of the algorithm in the adjacent flowchart. Making decisions through reasoning. We all make decisions in daily life whenever we are at crossroads. Problems may be simple or complex, but we have to use our wisdom and experience to make the decisions. Yes, for simple problems, we may need no time and for complex problems, we may need more time so that the best possible alternate can be chosen to make the decision. Difficult situations will require more reasoning and experience to solve problems. Let us understand this with a mathematical equation. Consider the following mathematical expression. 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. 20 by 10 is equal to 2. 100 into 2 is equal to 200. 80 minus 40 is equal to 40. Yes, you are right. They are simple mathematical problems and with no or a little effort, we can find their solution. Now consider the following equation. 20 into 8 minus 8 into 56 minus 3 into 18 plus 5 exponent 8 into 50 plus 150 by 6 into 3 exponent 3 by 6. This problem needs thinking about the computational rules of mathematics and breaking this into smaller parts and then combining the result to find the solution. We will apply Bodmas rule to give right solution for the above mathematical problem. Let us take another example where you have to select two meals, both either wedge or non-wedge, as per the choices available in the following table. 
स्टॉल ए स्टॉल बी रेसिपी टाइप मटन अंगारा नॉन वेज शाकत सीख कबाब नॉन वेज क्रिस्पी कोठिम्बिर वड़ी वेज हरा बरा कबाब रेसिपी वेज मटन बुरा कबाब नॉन वेज लिलवा कचौरी वेज दाल वड़ा वेज फिश कुवाड़ा नॉन वेज तंदूरी जलपरी नॉन वेज पनीर कुलचा वेज कंडीशंस देर आर सर्टन कंडीशंस एंड रूल्स टू बी फॉलोड बाय एवरीवन बिफोर मेकिंग द सिलेक्शन फ्रॉम द गिवन लिस्ट ऑफ रेसिपीज रूल्स टू सेलेक्ट द कॉम्बिनेशन आर एज फॉलोज ईच गेस्ट हैज टू टेक ओनली टू रेसिपीज selection of one recipe from each section is compulsory you can select either both the recipes as veg or non veg combination is not permitted let us take another example look at the following question find out what completes the figure matrix with the options the main logical thinking steps in solving the above figure are task study the problem carefully here three shapes are given we have to find out what comes next in the question mark box identify goal to find the fourth figure in the matrix information in the matrix the first shape has two dots the adjacent box has four dots and the third box has three dots condition in the matrix the right side box contains twice the number of dots in the left box solve now we will solve the puzzle by using the given information and the given condition reasoning the question mark box will have shape with six dots as 3 into 2 is equal to 6 solution so the solution is d part this proves that with logical reasoning any problem can be solved by using skills and experience using computational thinking for programming When you develop computer programs, computational thinking enables you to work out exactly what to tell the computer to do and then convert it into a program by using an appropriate programming language. Importance of computational thinking. Computational thinking gives us the courage to solve complex problems and design systems that none of us can ever think of. Computational thinking fosters key skills in all of us like problem solving in computational thinking it refers to solving problems with logical thinking through using various computational models this includes applying problem breakdown to identify problems and or generating alternative of them at this level students distinguish between problems and decide whether these problems can or cannot be solved computationally furthermore students are able to evaluate a problem and specify appropriate criteria in order to develop applicable abstractions perseverance students learn not to give up and learn not to be intimidated by the complexity of a problem and accomplish the task by following the principles of computational thinking build algorithms it involves the construction of step by step procedures for solving a particular problem selection of appropriate algorithmic techniques is a crucial part of thinking computationally as this develops abstractions robust enough that they can be reused to solve similar problems debugging it is analyzing problems and errors in logic or in activities at this stage students receive feedback on their algorithms and evaluate them accordingly which also includes reviewing current rules and or strategies used debugging is central to both programming and computational thinking because it involves critical and procedural thinking in simulation students design or run models as test beds to make decision about which circumstances to consider when completing their abstraction socializing it refers to the social aspect of computational thinking which involves coordination cooperation and or competition during the stages of problem solving algorithm building debugging and simulation this characteristic of computational thinking allows brainstorming and encourages assessment of incidents 
as well as strategy development among multiple parties. And so, socializing is one distinct feature of computational thinking that distinguishes